So I'm going to record that in. Let's... Now, you notice that the arpeggiation sounds like it's out of time with the click. That's because it is. So here's something that I wanted to bring your attention to. Because the instruments are in logic and they are arpeggiated instruments, then this is the reason I chose arpeggiated instruments. Because they are arpeggiated instruments, they're following logic's tempo. And right now, logic is just a sound module that is not receiving any tempo information from the MPC-1 or from the MPC software. So what I need to do is set the tempo and logic to be the same tempo as the tempo in the MPC software. So I'm going to double click the tempo and logic and set it to 88 beats per minute. I'm actually going to change my LCD display to the custom display so I can get a little bit more information here. Now I'll go back over into my MPC software and let's try that again. Okay, so the timing of that last chord was a little off, but I should be able to fix that very easily by changing the time correction to quarter notes and saying do it, and that should shift it into place. And I'm going to shorten this last part. I didn't want it to go all the way over there. Listen to it one more time. Okay, cool. Now let's go to the other string track. And I'm going to do a very similar thing. I'm going to use pad perform. This time, same uh, key, C sharp, natural minor. But I'm going to put it in the first octave. Uh, make sure my full velocity is on. And I'm going to play these on top of that. So if I want to adjust my levels, of course, because the sounds are in Logic, I'll adjust the levels here in Logic. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some drums to it. And uh, let's go back to main here on the MPC and go up to track one. And am I with my drums? Okay, let's add a drum part here.
My drums are a little bit busier than I like, so I'm going to edit some of these drums. Let's see. I think I'll take that out. That's cool for this demonstration. I'm going to also add some hi-hats to that. I'm going to take full velocity off. Let's add some hats. Let me use my note repeat. Oops. So made a mistake there of hitting record and play start instead of overdub. So I'm just going to undo that. That was erasing everything and just putting in hi-hats. Let's try that again. And so if I wanted to go back over here into Logic, I could uh, open up this particular drum that I use is what's called a track stack. So if I click this disclosure triangle, I can see all of the individual parts of that particular drum kit. And I have separate control of each part. For instance, my hi-hat here is a little louder than I want it to be. So I'm going to bring it down some and pan it a little bit harder here. Just to get a little bit more punch on my drums, I'm going to slap on a compressor that I love uh, from my Universal Audio Kit. Okay, yeah, let's use this uh, LA-2A here on it. Let's see. So just like that, I've set up the MPC to control Logic as a sound module. Now, we can take this a step further. Mm -hmm. 